Guys, I'll try to be fast in this video, but please watch it to the end. There's a lot of stuff I want to go over. So, you may have noticed that Marsu's account is gone on YouTube, and that is because he was hacked by a person in Germany who was promoting an Ethereum scam. The way Marsu was hacked is he was sent an email through his business account uh, for YouTube, which, if you guys don't know, companies will send you an email to promote their product with an ad on your channel, and they'll pay you for it. He thought it was legit, so he went ahead and clicked on a file inside of the email. And these files, I've made them myself. I have created them, I have used them in the past. I have not used them for anything on AL, I've used them for different platforms like Discord and stuff like that. I hack into people's accounts with it because they challenge me to or they piss me off. But what these files do is they will go into your computer and grab specific uh, file information like it hacked into his YouTube account, it bypassed his two-factor authentication and everything. So, me and him have been on Discord for hours now, and we've ta been talking back and forth on ways uh, to fix this, because they changed the phone number, they changed the recovery emails, they changed the backup codes, they changed everything. Everything that he could have got access back to his account, they changed all of his uh, authentication, everything. And it's insane because not many people do that they'll just go into your account and do whatever but they don't actually change all of your stuff like this guy did so after he was hacked there was a uh, guy that changed his youtube banner and his name and a channel description all of that stuff and he promoted an ethereum scam a cryptocurrency scam which was send one ethereum you get two ethereum back never believe in those there's no way to generate money out of thin air you always have to work for it don't fall for things that are too good to be true so, a few hours, a few hours after that, uh, the channel's running a live video, just promoting a scam. The channel gets uh, terminated for violating YouTube's terms of service. Me and Marsu, we've been contacting YouTube to get his channel back. I think he's going to get his channel back soon. It's going to be a bit, but like this has been really stressful for him, and I've been doing everything I can to help him. So. Yeah, that's what I have to say about the channel. That's what I've wanted to update you guys with. I'm going to go over a few things here in a minute, actually. So the things I want to go over is there are so many people out there who do, who are so careless about their accounts and stuff. And it, it really scares me because you guys don't know who's on the internet. There are so many people out there who can do things that will destroy your entire life. Um... I'm going to give you guys some tips here on how to protect your accounts from being uh, hacked into and stuff like that. Firstly, of course, don't click suspicious links. Don't scan any type of barcodes. Always use a different password for every single website, every single video game, everything you log or register with. Use a different password and I'll explain why in a minute. Always try to use a new email as well for stuff if you can, if you can keep track of that. I mean, I do it all the time. I keep track of absolutely everything. I use a different email for every single website I've registered with, every game I register with. I use a different password for everything as well. I have over 100 emails and 100 passwords I keep track with. It's not easy sometimes, but I mean, my name's Encryptions for a reason. I am overly secure about everything, and that's just the way I am. I am always secure about my life. I don't want anyone to have access to destroy my life, destroy anything of mine. I mean, someone gets access to my account, they could possibly have access to my bank account, my identification, things like that. And you guys need to really start taking care of your account and stuff. With the passwords, there are things called database breaches. Every single website, every single game out there has a database. What a database is, is it stores email addresses and passwords, okay? If a database breach happens, there's one person that gets access to every single email address and password included inside of that video game and website, and they'll upload it to the dark web or these other websites with database breach uh, information that will be sold for cryptocurrency. So these guys will go out there and they will buy a subscription. I have bought one myself to see how it is. I haven't used any of the email addresses and passwords in it. I just bought one to see how it works and stuff, to see if my stuff's on there and stuff like that. And I found two of my accounts on there, two accounts I don't use because it was just for a temporary website. 
that could have been two opportunities for someone to hack into my stuff. And so I went on there, I was surprised about it because, I mean, you don't expect something like that to be out there. But with the passwords, if you're using the same password for every single website, you're going to get hacked really fast because if one website has a database breach, they have your password. You may think, oh, it's just one person. Um, well, here's the thing. There's something called a Python script. It's coding. And what a Python, what Python can do is it will run a password cracker. A password cracker is an automated uh, system that will sit there and try every single email address with every single password inside of both TXT files until it finds a match. And it will store the matches over into a different file. And every match that's there, they have access to that account on that website. So if you, say if Facebook had a database breach, so many people use the same email address and password as they would for YouTube, uh, their Google account, other applications like eBay, Amazon, eBay and Amazon, if those get hacked, your bank account's hacked, your PayPal account, stuff like that. It all links together if you use the same email address and password combo. That's why you want to use a different password for everything. A year or two ago, Spacetime Studios form, the owner of this game, the company of this game, Arcane Legends, it was hacked, had a database breach, and hundreds of accounts on Arcane Legends were hacked into, and their accounts were deleted and all their items were gifted to newer players in the game, or just, I don't know what happened to the items realistically, but these people lost everything because the forums was hacked and they used the same email address and password as they would in the forums as they do in the game. So the hacker took all of those passwords and emails and logged in the, these people's accounts in the game and took all their stuff away. Everything. Even the character, they deleted the character, took all the gold out, absolutely everything, wiped it clean. And so that's why we have a factor of authentication through AL now. And still, it just, so many people lost their stuff over something so simple. Protect yourself. Take extra measures to protect yourself always. I mean... I didn't get hacked because I used a different email and different password for everything. So that's what I wanted to go over with you guys. Hopefully this updates you. Um, Marcy has been trying to get his account back. We'll possibly get it back. If not, he'll make a new one. It really sucks that he loses 11 years of a YouTube channel he's worked on a lot. So good luck. I'm going to end the video here.